The timer is set, everyone. The dragons are counting down. Thank you for watching Dr. Gameology here on Twitch playing Final Fantasy XIV. I appreciate you checking out this video, whether you're watching me live on Twitch or you know me from a classroom. Let's talk about the mental health lesson from today's stream. Inside a dungeon, playing with three random strangers, sometimes it's really hard to succeed right off the bat. There's no chemistry. Maybe the challenge is new to you, but our minds are capable of filling in the gaps and doing truly amazing things. And I want to talk with you today about context clues and learning on the fly. So when you're in a situation, you might not have the confidence to just step in and succeed right off the bat, but it's really important to look around and to take the things you do know and try to apply those with a logic system and we do what we call inference to the things around us. So if we're able to notice this works that way, this seems to operate this other way, then we can actually figure out a lot more things than just what the information we already know would lead us to believe. So for example, if I give a series of instructions to someone and the instructions are not exactly clear, we don't just look at that sentence, we think about all our past experiences that are situations like this. In video games, this is what the game developers are relying on you understanding at the subconscious level. So when we're doing a boss fight and we get doom cast on our character, we get this nice little rectangle with an ominous image counting down. Doom means we die when that timer hits zero. But there's a glowing square on one of the tiles on the floor. And, huh, if we stand in the glowing tile, that doom disappears. We could know that from our experience, from our actual memory of the fight. We could learn that from someone telling us in the chat. But if that does not happen, we know that counting down red debuffs are bad. We know that glowing squares do something. And we know that I can't just stand here and do nothing. So why not step on the glowing tile? And the thing that's going to take us out is gone. That is problem solving based on context clues. This happens all the time in video games. And we feel really good when it happens because the things tend to glow and make noise and give us other contextual stimuli that say good job. In the real world, not so much. People are too busy to pat us on the back, say good job. But if we know the lesson from the video games, then maybe we can say, hey, that was good thinking. Good job, me. Good job, you. So I would just encourage everybody to pay attention to the context clues. Trust your experience. And if it doesn't work, that's just trial and error. Do it again. Don't get stuck with just what you see, but also use what you know and aim for that creative solution. Context gives our brain a power beyond anything we realize literally moment to moment. So we might as well use it. And with that, the final quest for today from our lesson is continue the journey. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you come back to twitch.tv slash drgameology for some more mental health moments and lessons of who we become when we play games.